Welcome to Live Doff, your online Doff Yomi Shear. Shalom Aleichem and welcome back to today's Daf Hayyami Nazir Nunvav. We are holding on on Hamad Bey's two lines from the bottom. Rav Chizda told us a Chiddush. Although when a Nazir becomes Tamei, a severe uh, Tuma, Tomas Mace, so his Nazirus, meaning anything that he had kept until then, halts, gets cancelled, nullified, and certainly the, the days in which he is tummy will not count, will not be applied towards his Nazirus. However, if he's a Mitzayra, he discovers a Nega, and the Kayin sends him off as a Mitzayra Mukhlat, he's been determined to be a Mitzayra, he's totally tummy. still, says of Chizda, those days of Tumah will be applied, can be applied, towards his Nazirus. It's not Tumah's mace, there's no issue. Provided that after he's done with his Tsaras, when he has to do that haircut for the Tsaras, so he has to have enough days to let his hair regrow, to get a 30-day growth, which will allow him to do the Tiglachas for Nazirus. But aside from that concern, technically speaking, the days of Tzoras can be applied to his Nazir account. Here we have two kashas on Rav Chista. Number one, Masiv Rami Bar I have a kasha from a, a Mishnah actually, coming up soon in the Masechta. We have a Nazir who is very confused. Nazir Shaya Tame Besafik, U Muchlat Besafik. We have a Nazir in, in the midst of his Naziris, he's unsure of whether he's tummy. Not sure whether he touched something which makes him tummy, which requires a cancellation, so to speak, of his Naziris. Teglachas Tumah, Karbonis, then starting again the Naziris Tahara, at the end of which he does a new Teglachas properly. He's not sure about that. Am I tummy? Am I not? Umuchat Basafik. He's not sure whether he's a Mitzur. How does that happen? Good question. Okay, the Kayin saw two individuals, one of them he passed as Tome, one of them as Tor, and he's not sure which one. Bottom line is, this fellow is really confused. He knows he was a Nazar. What happened then? What happened afterwards? He has no idea. Am I Tome? Am I not? Am I a Matsura? Am I not? Now, the Allah is a Matsura cannot partake in Karbanis. He can't be Eichel Bekachim until he's done his Saras. And what happens then? When his Nega leaves him? His nega gets healed. He shaves Teglachas Tsaras, which actually overrides the Isra of shaving as a Nazar, right? We learned that before. The Assay, the Mitzvah say is um, the Isra of Teglachas, of, of cutting hair. You know, the Nazar's Isra of cutting hair. So first he does Teglachas. He waits seven days. Those are called Imei. Sifrei, the counting days, at the end of which he cuts again, shaves again, after which he's to her to go home. So Mitzayr will shave twice throughout the purification process. This fellow doesn't know whether he's another tummy, whether there's another tummy, to her, whether he's a Mitzayr, whether he's not. What does he do? He's going to have to shave four times to account for all possibilities, to cover all bases. But he will have to do them 30 days apart. Because just in case he's not really a Mitzur, he's really just a Nazar. He can't just shave in the middle of nowhere. So let's see. Nazar shayus tabim besafik, umuchat besafik. What happens? Oichel bekachim laachar shishim yon. After 60 days, he will partake in karbonis. He knows he's certainly not a Mitzur. Vishayusi yayin. Umi tame la mesim, laachar meyavasim yon. However, to leave his Nazirus, to avail himself to wine and to mason, that's only after 120 days, in which case he's certainly no longer a Nazir. So how do we get to 60 to 120? It's like this. He was a standard 30-day Nazir. Something happened. He encountered a possible Tumah, he's not sure. He encountered a possible Tsaras, he's not sure. 
So what does he do? So you have 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days. At day 30, he will do Tiglachas for the first time. At day 60, he'll do it again. Why? Just in case. He's a Mitzurah. A Mitzurah needs to have a double Tiglachas. Typically, it's seven days apart, but here he can't be less than 30 days apart because just in case he's not a Mitzurah. He has to cover that possibility as well. If I'm not a Mitzurah, I have no business cutting my hair. I'm all nowhere. So the first haircut at the end of 30, well, that works either I'm a regular Nazar, Nazar Tahar, that's fine. I'm a Nazar Tameh, I also need a haircut. I'm a Mitzurah, and certainly I need a haircut. Okay, so that first haircut accounts for many possibilities. Then I have to wait another 30 days, till day 60. I do another haircut. At which case, I know I'm certainly not a Mitzurah anymore. Because I had two haircuts. Again, typically it's seven days apart, but here I have to wait 30 days. Just in case I'm not really a Mitzurah, I'm really a Nazar. A Nazar Tameh who took his haircut over here, at the end of 30. And now I just did my Naziris again. Naziris Tahara, at the end of which I cut my hair. So I have to wait 30 more days. I do another haircut. Now I'm certainly out of the words, woods in terms of in terms of Tsaras, okay? I'm clear of that. So after 60, I can have Kachim. Okay, that's uh, an absolute. However, I have to keep on observing more Naziris and more haircuts. Because on the on the chance that I was a Mitzera, those haircuts cannot count for Tiglachas, Naziris. That's the Allah. It counts for the Tzaras. doesn't get applied to the Nazir factor. I'm not credited with those haircuts in terms of my Naziris. It doesn't count. So, the next 30 days will be for Naziris. But maybe I'm a Nazir Tzame. So that haircut will account for Naziris Tuma. Yeah, at the end of which I count another 30. Finally, finally, I'm out of the woods in terms of everything. I counted for all, po- all possibilities. In case I was a Mitzera, first two haircuts. Another tummy as well, the third haircut. The fourth one was for my Naziris Tahara. So now I'm totally done. And I go back to wine and to tuma. Okay, so pretty uh, fairly simple equation. And this is the uh, solution to the problem. So that's the Mishnah. Vatani Allah. We have a Bryce which explains on the Mishnah. These numbers, 30, 60, 90, 120, is only when he was involved in a standard length in the zeros of 30 days. So it has to be sort of quadrupled, right? But when do these numbers apply? By a small, by a standard 30 day zeros. Suppose he was committed to being another for a year. So now he has to quadruple that. A total of four years. A year, haircut. Another year, haircut, etc. After two years, he goes to Kachim. He's certainly not a Mitzur anymore. But perhaps he's still a Nazar. Another two years for that. So four times a year. When? After four years. Question. Rabbi Chizda tells us that the Yemei Saras can count towards the Nazir, so why do you need so many days? Why do you need so many years? For the Yemei Chaluta, meaning the condemned days, the days which he was considered a Mitzayra, can be applied to the Nazirus, provided you just have 30 days to, to regrow your hair, to facilitate the, the Glachas Nazirus, that's all. So why would he need four years in this case? To cover all the possibilities. It should be enough to have thir- three years. Plus 30 days to let the hair grow. Why would you need four years? Four full years. Somewhere in those four years we have you made saras. Let them count towards the Nazirus. So after three years, he certainly, he has certainly satisfied his Nazirus obligations. Oh, the point is that he just took a haircut. 
you know, after three years. Okay, so give yourself another 30 days. Gidul Seyar. And you're done. You're in the zero Tahara. The fact that the halach is you have to wait four years indicates that all those days which were considered nega days, taras days, imechaluta days do not count, not apply to the Naziris. It's only that fourth year which is going to satisfy the Naziris. That's a kasha of Chista. V'oid Moser Rav Ashi. Rav Ashi had another kasha from a, a Bryce and the Sifri, which also indicates to us as such, imechalutai do not count for Naziris. So we know that when another encounters Tuma, it cancels the Nazirus. The days of Tuma certainly are not applied towards the Nazirus. Ainly Eli may Tuma. Perhaps it only applies to Yimei Tuma. What about Yimei Chilutai Minai, the days of Tsaras? The answer is we'll compare, we'll match it up. Vidinu, Yimei Tuma Megalech, maybe carbon, just like when. Another becomes tummy. What happens? Giluach, karbanis. And likewise, the days of Tzaraz trigger the same, a uh, similar procedure. Vimei chilute, migaleach, maybe karbon. Likewise, when he becomes a Tzaraz, a matzera, he shaves karbanis. So let's compare the two situations in terms of counting those days for Naziris. Ma yimei tumase ein oilun lo minamin. Just like yimei tuma don't count. Perhaps you can't connect, you can't compare. If it is so that you may tuma can't count, you know why? They are a direct contradiction to you may naziris. Because when you become tummy, it cancels everything that you had kept already. So it's a direct collision to the Naziris. Of course, you can't use these days towards the Naziris. You can't apply the Yimei Tuma to the Naziris count. If it cancels the previous days, kept, certainly these days don't qualify as Yimei Naziris. As opposed to Yimei Tzaras, She'ein Mevatel. We learned this a couple of weeks ago that the Yimei Chiluta do not have the same effect. So let's say you kept half the Naziris, then it became a Matera. You don't cancel. Apparently, the Metzaras aren't diametrically opposed to Nazirus, and perhaps you can even apply these days of Tzaras to the Nazirus. So the Mamotzino, this sort of matchup, didn't work. Rather, Amr's response is, we have another method of figuring this out and coming to the same conclusion. Kavachaymer, who? Uman Ozer Take a situation where a fellow was standing in the Besak forest in the midst of Tumah, and accepted Naziris upon himself. We had this sugya way back when as well. What happens with this fellow? He's not considered like a regular Nazir to her who became Tumma, who now needs the glachas of Tumma and Karbanis. No, because he, he started on the left foot. We learned this from Sukkim there. In this case, the hair that is now growing on his head will stay there will eventually be part of the Teglachas at the end of the Naziris. She has Sa'ara Yiro'ilu Teglachas Naziris. The hair that he's actually having grown his head, the Sa'ar present on him right now is Roy, is fit, is suitable, will serve the Teglachas Naziris at the end of the 30 days, you know, once he leaves the Beis first and starts counting. So basically, what does that indicate to us? That he's already on the track, on the Nazir track, even while he's tummy. Still... Certainly, those days uh, in the in the cavern uh, will not be applied to the uh, to the nazirus. Of course, of course, the yomim um, of tzaras she'ein sa'aray royal teglachas. In which case, since he's going to have to shave on account of Tzaraz, so that hair will not be taking part in the Taglachas Nazirus. 
Right? This hair is going to be gone by the time it gets back to being a Nazar. Loi Koshkin, certainly, this is Gersa Inedin, Shaloi Yalla, I mean, certainly, it lends to reason that these days of Tzaras should not be applied to his Naziris. He's, he's apparently not on the Nazar track right now. He sort of took a time out. So, you can't count these days towards Naziris. Okay, so having said that, having established that, you may Chilutoi. The made tum of Matsura can't count for Nazirus. What about a different type of um, period within his experience called Yimei Safri? Okay, so we'll establish that the Yimei Chiluta can't count. What about Yimei Sifra Minayin? After he's Tome, which are called Yimei Chiluta, he discovers his Nega disappears, he's ready to become Tohar again. He shaves, he counts seven days, shaves again, and comes back home. Those days are called Yimei Safra, days of counting. Can those days be applied towards his Nazirs? He may sit from Minayin. Vidinu. We'll, uh, we'll try to compare it. Ma yimei chilutoi ta'an teglachas, just like the yimei chilutoi require a haircut at the end of the yimei tumor. Av yimei sifra, same thing with yimei sifra, at the end of the count, shaves again. So we'll match up the two periods. O ma yimei chilutoi, just like yimei chilutoi, ein oin lo minamina, cannot count towards naziris, as we just established. Af yimei sifra, perhaps the counting days as well, the yimei sifra will not count towards naziris. Okay. So Yimei Chiluto is out, Yimei Sifra is out. Yochel, perhaps, based on this, will add, Af Yimei Hesgeri Kain. Initially, when the individual discovers this blotch, he goes to the Kain, who says, look, we have to lock you up, put you in quarantine, and come back in a week, we'll evaluate, value, we'll come back to you in a week, to evaluate your nega. Those are called Yimei Hesger. Do those days count towards the Naziris? Perhaps those days will not count either. Based on the following rationale. It's comparable to, to Yimei Chilutoi. Look, Chalot Metami Mishka V'Meshek. A Metzera who's been condemned to Tumah. He's Metami through sitting, through lying on an item. Yimei Azgeru Metami Mishka V'Meshek. The same Allah of Tumah applies to Yimei Azgeru. And therefore, Im Laman to Yimei Chilutoi. Shein oilim and I mean, if it was just established, I mean, chiluto don't count. Av you may hesker, likewise you may hesker, which have this similarity in terms of tuma. Ein oilim and I mean, perhaps don't count either. Amris, the response is perhaps not. Perhaps you can't connect and compare. Im amris be me chiluto. If this halacha of not counting is a, is said by you may chiluto, you know why? She can't chiluta toin to glachas, or maybe carbon, because the may chiluta require shave and carbonis. That's perhaps why they can't count those in zeros. They're in a category on their own. It's his own process, own procedures, incompatible with naziris. Toim rabbi may hesker as opposed to the may hesker, which don't have, don't feature those things. She ain't toin to glachas. Ain't it maybe carbon? There's no shaving at the end. There's no carbonis. Lefichach yad aluminium. Perhaps they can be applied towards in zeros, and that's in fact the conclusion. Mikan Amru, based on this, back and forth, we concluded, Yimei Sifroi, Yimei Gamroi, Ein Oilam in Aminyan. The days of counting, the days of Tumat itself, don't count towards Naziris, but the Yimei Hes Geridu. Alo Yimei Azava, Azava. But when he's actually just Azava or Azava, he has Gerish and the Yimei Hes Ger, Harei Elu Oilam in Aminyan, it can be applied towards Naziris. End of price. Okay, so what do we see in this price in terms of our question? Rav Chizda presented us with a Chiddush. The Yimei Chilutoi technically can be counted as days of Naziris, provided you have 30 days at the end for hair regrowth to accomplish Teglachas Naziris. Ketonimias. At any rate, what does the Brisa tell us? Let's go back to the first step in the Brisa. We're trying to figure out whether you can compare Yimei Chilutoi to regular Yimei Tumah of Tumas Mez. And we said, no, can't compare. Lo Yimei Amras Yimei Tumah. She came to Vatel Ben Zakhoidin. Yimei Tumah is worse. It cancels even the, even the previously kept days. So it's totally incompatible with Naziris. Toyma Bimei Chilutoi. As opposed to Yimei Chilutoi, which don't have that effect. Let's stop for a second. How long is this fellow's Naziris? 
you're suggesting that the Yimei Saras can count towards the Nazirus. Knowing full and well there's going to be a shave at the end of that period. And we're suggesting that still the Yimei Saras should not disrupt the Nazirus, right? Bimai, how long is this fellow's Nazirus? Is it a standard 30 day Nazirus? Is it more? Ilayim of Nazirus from Etis. We're speaking about a small standard 30 day Nazirus. How can you suggest that the May Saras will not have any effect on his count? We all know that Saras comes along with Giluach, after which he has no 30 days left. How about in Gidl Ser? You need 30 days of regrowth. Oh, so apparently we're speaking about a long Nazirus. So your suggestion that the Yimei Tzaraz should not affect the Nazirus, right? Should not be considered an interruption. The days of Tzaraz should be applied toward that count. Must be speaking about a longer Nazirus. El Lab Nazirus Marupa. 100 day Nazirus. So you count to 20 days. Now he's a Nega, Tzaraz, a Matzara. He shaves. He has, you know, 60 days left. That's good. Uktania, what does the Bryce tell us at the end? What is the conclusion of the Bryce? Even in a situation where he has ample time to regrow his hair after the Teklachas Tzaras, do those days of Tzaras count? No. Uktani she'en oidl lemina minyan. Alma le'salkin, apparently they don't count. Le'salkin, they don't count for him. This is a kash against Rav Chizah Shema Mina Araya. That just like he made Tuma can't count towards Nazirus, likewise made Tzaras are not counted towards his Nazirus. So that's the conclusion of the Gemara. Says the Mishnah, Amar B'Liyazer, Yishum Rabbi Yishua. So Rabbi Yishua is quoting Rabbi Yishua. The fire says, Stam Rabbi Yishua is Rabbi Yishua ben Hananya. That what? You should know the following formula. We have learned that there are many levels of Tumul. In fact, when it comes to a Nazar, we have three levels. We have actual Tumas Mace on the highest level. Chatsi Kavat Samis, Chatsi Lugdam. An encounter with those materials will cancel as Nazirus, require Teglachas Karbanis, and a redo. We have Tumas on a slightly lower level than that. A quarter a Kavat Samis, a quarter Lugdam, which make him Tummy Tumas Mace, but don't generate the same, don't trigger the same procedure. There's no Cancellation, there's no carbonis, no teglachas. But the Yimei Tumma, even those Yimei Tumma will not count towards the Nazir. So he sort of takes a pause, a time out, gets turned, and comes back to the Nazir. Now we have the Zav, Zava, Mehesker, which we just discussed, although he's Tummy, but you can actually take those days and count it. There's no interruption in the Nazir. Says of Lezer. In the name of Rabbi Yeshua ben Hanan. We are meant to know that Kol Tumah min Ames, Shenazer only those highest level Tumas, which trigger a Giluach of Nazar, Chayav and Oleh Albi Asmikdash. If one actually experiences those Tumas, those high level Tumas, and enters the base of but Tumah, he's liable. Karis, carbon. But strictly those high level Tumas. We call Tumah min Ames, However, the lower level Tumas, although Tumas Mace, but they don't have the same effect on the Nazar. There's no Chiyav on B'yas Migdash. The Ravid says, it's a Lacham Hashem Nesina, to compare the two. Amar Amir, Amir disagrees. How can you suggest that the lighter Tumas don't have the same liability? Look, the Pasuk in Vayikra, Perak Hay, Pasuk Beis, tells us, even by touching a dead Sheretz, Makes him liable for bias migdash. How can you suggest that the lower level Tumas Mace are earning less than that? He disagrees. In all cases, there's a chiv upon bias migdash. Asks the Gemara. For Rabbi Lezer, who quoted this uh, formula in the name of Rabbi Shua ben Chananya, is that so? Mishum Rabbi Shua Gamal, he learned it from Rabbi Shua ben Chananya? Well, Mishum Rabbi Shua ben Mamul Gamal. We have a Brysa where it seems that he learned it from a different Tana, Rabbi Shua ben Mamul, the Sanya. Amr Rabbi Lezer. Rabbi Lezer tells us. When I went to this place, Masasi, as Rabbi Shua and Pasar Reish, I encountered Rabbi Shua, the son of Pasar Reish, that was his father's name. He was presenting Allah to Rabbi Meir, and he said like this, You should know, call Tuma. Shanazer, Megaleah Chaleo, 
right? Any severe tumor which triggers Giluach Nazrim, likewise, Chayav and Olam should be as Migdash. And if not, then no. Vechol Tumor and Amez, She'ein Anazr, Migalech Aleyav, there's no Giluach upon this Tumor, Ein Chayav and Olam should be as Migdash, there's no Chayav and be as Migdash. This was presented to Rav Meir. Rav Meir disagrees. Amar Loi, Rav Meir responds to him, No. Al te Sukalam is Sheretz, you can't suggest that a lower level Tumor Smez is less in severity than a Sheretz, which makes a Chayav and be as Migdash. I disagree. Omar Tiloi, now to Rabbi Lezer, turning to Rabbi Meir. I told him like this. Kluma Tabuk, are you familiar with the uh, level of scholar of scholarship of, of this Tana Rabbi Shua ben Mamel? Do you recognize his greatness? Omar Li Hain, says Rabbi Meir, says, sure, he's a big man. Oh, says Rabbi Lezer. Let me tell you something in his name. Kach Omar Li, Rabbi Shua ben Mamel. Mishum Rabbi Shua. Rabbi Shua ben Mamel told me the name of Rabbi Shua ben Chananya. The same exact formula is true. Kol tumah menames shehanozah megalei chalel. If a tumah generates giluach, chayav olam mishum be'as migdash. Otherwise not. V'chol tumah menames shein anozah megalei chalel. Ein chayav olam mishum be'as migdash. End of story. Havi. So apparently, who's Rebbe Lezer quoting? Who did he hear this halacha from? Mishum mishum be'as mamul gamalot. And here we have Rebbe Lezer and in our mission. Right? So in the Bryce, it's clear that Rabbi Lezer heard it from Shub and Mamel, who quoted Rabbi Shub and Hanania. And now, Mishnah, we have Rabbi Lezer, the name of Rabbi Shub and Hanania, what happened to Rabbi Shub and Mamel? Amri, the Bnei Yeshiva, answered like this. Apparently, you don't have to mention every name along the chain. Go straight to the source. Shema Mino, Kal Shmatz, any halacha. Demis Amra, Bebe Tlasa. Any halacha which is quoted by a string of names, so to speak. Levi heard it from Shim, from Shimon, heard it from Reuben, heard it from Yaakov. You don't need to mention all of them, although we find many times in the Gemara that we do go through the whole list, but it's not necessary. Rather, what is pertinent? Kadmoi of Basroi Amrina, the first, meaning the source, and Basroi, the most recent name. I heard it from him. Who got it from there? I don't have to go through the middle names. Mitzioi Amrina, you don't have to relate to the middle names. Omar Nach Maritzog, Afanana Mitanina, we have a Mishnah which supports this notion. We skip some names. We go straight to the source. Amar Nochem HaLavler. Nochem the scribe. Testified. Amar. He said, Kach Mikublani Merab Yasha. I have this Kabbalah from Rabbi Yasha. Shekibu Me'aba heard it from my father. Shekibu Me'azugus. Who heard it from the peers. Those are the Tanoi mentioned in Pirkei Avais. Yosef ben Yezah with Yosef ben Yechanan. Etc. Etc. Shekibu Me'avim. Who accepted the Salacha from the Nevi'im. And then we sort of skip. We skip uh, Kalev and Yeshua. We go straight up to Moshe. Allah Moshe is Sinai. The following halacha: Bezareya Shevas Vachardel B'Shnai Moshleishem Akoymes. If a fellow plants small patches of these uh, seeds, Shevas and Chardel, Chardel is mustard. Shnai Sim Peim Mukalach Ve'Echad. Each one is considered like a separate field, a separate entity. That's the derech to plant these things in small quantities. So each one has its own, you know, identity, its own sada, so to speak. So you have to. A portion, a, a part of each each uh, patch for payer for the poor people. Okay, so bottom line is, he sort of skipped. He went straight to Moshe Rabbeinu. Vilu Yeshua, what happened to Yeshua? The Talmud of Moshe, the Kalev, the Talmud of Yeshua, like a chashev. He didn't make mention, even though the information certainly came through them. It was channeled through everybody, all the way down till Nachama Lavlar. Shema Minor. Apparently, it's not necessary. So he went through some names, and the Mefar says he went. And mention anybody from Bayis, uh, the Beis Hamikdash Hasheni, and onward. But then he went straight back up to Moshe Rabbeinu. Interesting uh, idea. Okay, so we have a Chizus Chiddush. The May Chilut of Mitzur can count towards Nazirus, provided there, there are thirty days after the Teglachas of Mitzur to allow for a regrow of hair. We have one Kasha from the Allah of the confused Nazir where it seems to indicate that you have to actually observe a uh, separate time for Nazirus. It's not uh, going to be combined with the days of Tzaras. We have another Bryce which seems to say the same thing. Shema Minom, the Raya, that it will not count towards Nazirus. Yadam Achleikis. We turn up a in the name of Rabbi Yeshua. He held only the severe Tumas Meis, on which a Nazirus Megalech will make a chiv upon B.S. Migdash. Rabbi Meir disagrees, even a lower level tumor, just like the Sheretz. 
And the Maskan of the Gemara was that it's important to quote a Dava B'Shem Aymrai, but uh, there's no need to actually go through every single name on the list as long as you go back to the source and you attribute and you credit the uh, source, the proper source for the halacha. That's a fulfillment of Dava B'Shem Aymrai B'Shem Yizaycha. Ebishe should be Harachmonas and be maybe Gula Lo'ilam, the curve you may know me.